And hello, I am Damien Scoyan, aka Danger Dame, and welcome to one of the first episodes, or the first episodes, you can have multiple first episodes of the Shop Talk. I just got out of work, and holy smokes, it's a long day. Like, just holy. But on today's show, I just want to say, I am sick and tired of working like a 9 to 5 job, like... I'm just over it, so you guys better blow me the fuck up by the end of the year. Or I might just jump off the highest building I could find. I might not have to anyways, because uh, if you have seen on the news, Russia and Ukraine are going at it. That's going to end up hacking World War III, nuclear bomb. So, but, oh, so I was thinking, why not just start an OnlyFans? No, just hear me out, like, I won't be on there just fucking bitches, but... Just on my feet, you know, like, anonymous photos of my feet. My face never has to be in it. Like, there's some creeps out there that will fucking buy feet pics. I can just pretend to be a lady, you know, sell my feet pics online, get fucking money from those weirdos online, I guess. You don't, it's not weird. It's weird, but like, you like what you like, I guess. But to be honest, this is not a bad idea, you know, just selling feet pics online. Make an obviously, you know, like, do custom requests, you know? Get some, like, whipping cream of chocolate syrup, you know? Sell that bad fucking feet pic for, like, $50 a pop. There has to be at least one guy, you know, like, just, like, fighting, like, you know, like, have the thing set up for, like, the description, $5. Like, then, like, 100 guys? What's five times 100 fuck I found out, like? This is just, this is your username, but this say, like, Ten dollars a subscription, you know. How many guys say I'd sign up? What is that like a fucking thousand dollars? I can live off that for a month. On top of that thousand dollars, what a uh, few paywalls, you know, like then the fucking like custom photos. Fuck, yeah, I'd be fucking rich, and I can just like do uh, my YouTube stuff. But um, sorry, just uh, lighting up a dusky there, but. This year I'm planning on fucking doing what I want, which is pranks. You may buddy how though, or once the weather steps are warming up so we can cap and shit and don't have to spend money on hotels. You're gonna start doing pranks and like public videos, you know, going out, having fun. You know, I, I'm a scooter rider still. I'm still gonna be riding the scooter around. And yeah, just having fun. Do what I want. Fuck, I don't know how to fucking people film podcast for like two hours straight. I guess it's easier when you have multiple people. I'm a lone wolf on this. Yeah, and like, if you're like a uh, small YouTuber up there in the great old land of Canada, you know, in the uh, BC area, would be the easiest because that's where I'm from. But it's down to do a key lab. Hit me up. I'm fucking down to film with anyone if you're down with the fucking cool shit. And also my camera's on red, so I'm gonna take an old uh, time out here and change my camera and uh, come back at ya. And the mic's all set up here, boys, and I'm gonna finish the rest of my dirt. And to be honest, I am still beaten last weekend. I had a wild weekend. I went up to good old the Gold Bridge there to an event called Winterfest. And what that is, is people just get together and get drunk on, drunk, holy, I'm fucking have the talking ability of a fucking foiled. People get hammered on the leg and just hang out. And I went for like three days straight, barely on his sleep, dreams, all that good stuff, not the sugar baby, I'm not into that shit. But, you see this gay guitar in front of me? I think, uh... Oh. Damien's uh, sh shop talk needs a little uh, intro song. I'm not the best guitar player, but uh, I can strung a couple chords. So off the top here, okay. This is Damien. Damien. Oh, well, let's restart from the top there. Okay. <clears throat> Damien, Danger Dame Shop. Fuck. I'm, all, I'm not a fucking juice filled feast, Jelly, but um. 
This is Danger Dame talking in his shop. I can't do that off the spot, but um, next episode, you best be ready for the uh, intro song of my uh, podcast there. But um, what was I going to talk about next? Let's see here. I'm all fucking distracted now. I'm a fucking retard. What am I doing? And we're back. I'm walking back to my chair because as I was saying, there goes my guitar. Fucking Molly fucking crew. I don't give a shit about guitars. Um, okay, but um, I just want to say like, some of the people like, I really, really want to collab with. Definitely. Canadian. Fucking Uncle Hack. He is a fucking beauty. Been watching him for years. Definitely one of the people I take inspiration from and just uh, someone I really want to meet and just become friends with and I can film some shit. So Uncle Hack, if you're watching us, you know, this works something out maybe. And another big one's fucking Don, Donnie, Donnie Duncan. No, Danny Duncan is another one. Been watching him since like way back in the day when he had like 12k subs. And Danny Mullen. Danny Mullen's another one I really take inspiration from because he does not give a fucking shit about what he says and what he does. And it's just like funny to watch. Oh, fuck. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing this. Holy. And I also have like the attention span of a fucking baby too, but if all the cuts, I know it's not like a proper podcast of all these cuts, but uh, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time, and um, I was gonna, I've just been thinking about it for a long time, and if I'm not just gonna do it, I'm never gonna do it. So I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. So even though that means there's gonna be a few cuts in the video footage, like in the audio, I guess, but um, well, like it's my first time ever fucking doing something like this, and. I need if I can do it or I'm never gonna do it, so I'm just gonna do it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what this is gonna turn out like. I'm gonna be better prepared next time. I just thought, came home from work, it was a long day, so my mind's all tired. And, and something I just always wanted to fucking do is to be an entertainment. I love fucking making people laugh, and just like, it brings joy to me to like make other people happy. Like, I'm not the biggest YouTuber, I only got like, what, 256 subs? And while I was living in Goldbridge there, Joy Pit. Yeah, I was living there for like nine months and a big hiatus, like, wasn't on the internet at all. Like, there's no cell reception up there, barely on the internet. And I've got the few people message me, like, well, the videos, like, I miss the videos. And, like, even though, like, I don't have the biggest following, like, still feels good. To, you know, people want to watch me do shit. I don't know, is that, like, um, psychopathic or, like, what's the word? Like, fucking self-absorbed or some shit, I don't know. Maybe, but, like, it brings joy to me to make other people happy, to distract them from their lives and just, again, like, make people, like, just fucking forget about the real world that's so shitty with, like, COVID for the past two years that's fucking... Halfway bullshit and World War 3 is coming with the good old Grandpa Putin there. Fucking bombing Ukraine. Like, buddy, show me a video I work today of this family just like chilling in their house and this fucking bomber play comes out of nowhere and starts launching initials. Like, that's fuck. Like, it's a scary world we lived in. Uh, we lived in. We still live in this world, but maybe not for long with this all shit going on, but uh, I'm rallying on. But I don't even know my main fucking point of this fucking rant, but. Fuck it, like, I'm just gonna do it, that's, you know what I'm gonna say, just fuck it. And, yeah, but, like, if I can, like, connect with people, like, fans, like, other creators that just, like, chill as fuck and build this community, and I also really want to start a company, like, based around just, like, cool fucking shit, doing other fuck I want to do, and, like, just, like, fuck the world, like, yeah, but um, I might finish this dirt with the camera, myself, me and I, and uh, and this first episode of Shop Talk, and love you guys.
Let me guys. Holy fuck. <laughs> to let you guys know, I also got a speech impediment. And um, that's one of the, why one of the reasons why I'm back in shit as shit as fuck. Shit as shit as shit. Shit at talking. It's because like, I was like, kind of made fun of growing up with it. And I never really talked until like, I actually haven't really said talking to people. Like having conversations, like fun except for my like, good buddies. Till like recently, like two or three years ago, and fuck, it's hard talking, like, especially doing this kind of fucking shit. People probably think it's so easy, but it's actually hard. But, um, some of my passions are, I guess we can talk about some of my passions if you guys care. But, um, I fuck, I love action sports. Like, you see behind me all these scooters shit hang on the wall, been scooting for fucking. Down near 10 years now, I grew up at the skate park, scooting, BMX skiing, skating, all that shit. And I think it's fucking badass and just fun to fuck around and have fun at the skate park. I fuck, I say fuck a lot too, like, fuck is like a word for me that gets my mind back on the straight and narrow and like, just like gather my thoughts, like fuck is like that word for me. What else do I like? And also, I got this new, like, fucking, shh, fucking floodlight from, like, work today, and, like, it's so bright in my eyes. I need to figure out a new place to get it, because it's, like, staring into the fucking sun, like, I need sunglasses right now, like, not kidding. But, uh, let me know if you want me to get some of the boys on the podcast, you know, crush a few views and fucking talk about some wild times we have, because, like, I've gotten into like shenanigans on like fucking acid shrooms and all that kind of shit and just like be getting drunk with my buddies and we just do the dumbest shit ever. <sighs> fuck, let's talk about that. My last acid trip was fucked. Like, like uh, my work flew me out to this flying lake, like by float plane, like deep in the fucking BC mountains. And there was me and my coworkers. And we were like, it was like the se- second, first actual day there. We were like, why not do some acid? Like, okay, it's fun. I fucking dropped five tabs and I fucking thought I was like, I was doing good. Then instead of a bad trip, so I went to lay down. I guess I was in my sleeping bag rolling around on the ground for fucking like four hours. But before that, we started building this like stick hut. I mean, you made like a fucking like pee, like. What fucking call it like Neanderthal fucking like, cave and stick hut? I fucking put up a photo right here. Fuck, we built that on acid, and it's like, I was like, we built that around me. I just sort of laid, I laid on the ground, and they started building this around me, and they fucking everything seemed on repeat. It was fucked. We lost fucking. We went for a walk. I just like left the fucking girl there alone on acid. Like we like thought we lost her, but she was found. And there's fucking grizzly bears and shit out there, and cougars, like, and we just, like, oh yeah, let's do ass of these fucking dangerous animals. But, okay, my dirt, I got, like, good, maybe five, ten puffs off it. So, I said after this dirt, I'm gonna head inside and eat some fucking grub and have a shower and, uh, we yank the chain, maybe. I don't know, fuck. What do you guys do in the evenings? But, uh, yeah. Let's. This has been Danger Dame and Shop Talk. Shop Talk Episode 1. And, uh, I hope you enjoy and subscribe, comment, do all that good shit, share this with your buddies, and, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. And I am out of you. And one more thing, this is a one man show out of you, so like, I need to figure out, I've never edited with a uh, external road microphone, yeah, I said road, I'm bougie, I'm like this big LA YouTuber to the road mic, but um, yeah, I need to figure out how to uh, sync the audio and all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, this is uh, this is actually the end of it, see you later boys.